welcome back to my channel today i decided to do the mom tag um i just wrote down some questions there's 11 on here and i'm just gonna go through it and answer the questions but before i do make sure you watch the last two videos i posted like them give them a thumbs up and please subscribe let's get into the video so the first question is how old were you when you had your first child i was 17 um yeah i was 17 and i had turned 18 about two months later so yeah i found out when i was i found out i was pregnant when i was 17 and i had it when i was 17 so it's not like i got pregnant at 16 i got pregnant at 17 had it at 17. um number two hardest thing about being pregnant so i had like the easiest pregnancy ever like i had no symptoms at all the only reason why i knew um i was pregnant i missed my period and if you guys want a video about that and how i found out let me know down below but yeah i had the easiest pregnancy ever i had no morning sickness i only threw up once and it wasn't even because i was pregnant i had a, gotten a stomach bug so i mean if you count that then sure but I had no cravings. Literally, the only thing I ever wanted was a vanilla iced coffee. And that's it. And my daughter was fine with it. She was like, as long as it's just one, it's fine. But, so the hardest thing I would say, I was pregnant during the summer. And I got pregnant my junior year of high school. So, when you're pregnant, you're tired. <laughs> and I was still going to school, obviously. So waking up in the morning and having to go to school was probably the hardest part because I was just so tired all the time. And then being pregnant in the summer was hard. Like I was so miserable <laughs> during the summer. But other than that, I had a really easy pregnancy. Number three, what did you enjoy most about being pregnant? Most was definitely feeling your baby kick. Like that's the best thing ever. Especially when you're getting an ultrasound and like you can see them like kicking on the screen and you feel it at the same time. It's literally the best. Number four, how was childbirth? <laughs> Again, if you guys want a video about this, leave it in the comments down below and I'll make one. But let's just say um, me having an easy pregnancy caught up with me during childbirth and postpartum. I was in labor for 25 hours and in the beginning it was going super super fast like when I went into labor I knew it and I was up and I was ready I was packing I was fine and my doctor actually thought when I was at the hospital when I got admitted he walked in the room and he the nurse had told him like she's four centimeters all this stuff and he literally looked at me and said you're not in labor he's like if you were in labor you'd be screaming right now he's like this is your first baby there's no way you're handling it this well and I was, I was in active labor, but I was just handling it fine. But that quickly took a turn for the worse. So if you guys want a story about that, let me know. <laughs> um, advice for a new mom. I give the same advice to every single mom I come across, every mom. My advice is start a schedule ASAP, a routine, do it right away. It's gonna take uh, like two weeks for your baby to get used to it and like actually be on that schedule but I promise you it's the best thing that you can do for you and your baby so for instance with Vanessa we did the four B's so it's bath bottle book bed and that's exactly what we did every night at seven o'clock was bath time after that we went from there and even still she's almost three we still do that routine obviously without the bottle of course but yeah so that's my advice. Get your baby on a routine ASAP. That gives you more time to yourself. That also gives you time to do stuff that you need to get done. And it gives you some time to like, just to be like, just do things for yourself. Um, number six, hardest thing about motherhood? Mm, I don't really know, let me think. Hardest thing about motherhood I would say is just like the basic things that like you were able to do before that you look back and you're like wow I'd for granted like for instance go in a shower you can't just go shower whenever you felt like it before when I didn't have a kid I would take a shower whenever I felt like it but now I no longer can do that 
I have to wait till my child's in bed or I have to wait till I have someone to watch her and it's just I wish I could do that same with like going to the store and stuff um I used to just be able to get in my car and go and now I can't do that I have to get a baby ready make sure I have everything I need then go to the store then get her her car seat and go in like it's just basic stuff like even getting gas like run in and pay you have to get your baby out the car seat and then go in and pay so I think that would just be like the hardest thing about mom being a mom number seven the best thing about being a mom the best thing about being a mom is like having a best friend all the time like Janessa is my best friend we do everything together she comes to the nail shop and everything with me like obviously she doesn't get her nails done she's three but like she'll come there and I'll get her like a little toy where she sits there and she'll sit there and talk and like you literally just have a best friend to go everywhere with it's I don't know I love it number eight best memory with your child we have a lot of good memories so I don't know like the best memory mm. one that like pops in my head is um the first time that Janessa like came over and like gave me a hug like on her own like that was the best we had taken her her and her, her dad and I had taken her to Monkey Joe's which is like an indoor jump house place and she was like so excited about it and she ran over and she hugged me and she said thank you mom and it was like the best feeling ever because it's like first of all my kid just hugged me willingly like without me asking and then she said thank you on top of it so it's like she knew that like we were doing something for her and she was appreciative of that and that's just like a really proud mom moment nine most exciting milestone i would say the most exciting milestone that we had well you know that she's had obviously and that's from like i feel like most kids is when your baby starts walking janessa started walking i think like two weeks before she had turned one and we were actually on vacation at the beach so we were in our beach house not our beach house but one that we had rented out and she started walking and it was the best like thing ever if i can find the video i'll include it but <laughs> that is like the best like seeing your baby like walk for the first time and take the first like it's amazing i love it number 10 is funniest thing your child has ever done this was actually recently we had gone out to eat with my mom and <laughs> there was a guy standing in front of us and he had um his shorts were pulled down a little too low and you could see the top of his butt and my two-year-old <laughs> walked over guys and yeah someone's gonna be like oh you said she's three she's three. she's about to be three that's like i just she's pretty much three but she's two right now but anyways my two-year-old walks over to this guy that has his butt hanging out <laughs> and she hits his butt <laughs> which is really gross and i was like no like what are you doing but she hits his butt and yells so loud, butt cheek, and like starts laughing hysterically. And like this guy just like turns around and pulls his shirt down. Like it was so embarrassing, but so funny at the same time. Like she, she is not shy at all. She will go up to anyone and talk and she's so cute. Like everywhere she goes, it's, we always get stopped because of Janessa. Like she is, she lights up a room. Question number 11 what habit makes you the most proud that your child has so i would say that the habit that janessa has that makes me like so proud is that she has good manners and like this is something else that we always get complimented on like when we got to eat and stuff when the waiter ha hands her her food or a drink or something she always says thank you when she's asking for something she says please she is a well-mannered kid and i love it like she when we give her like gifts or anything like she's like thank you like she's so happy and she's she knows that you know and it's so funny because when we tell her thank you she doesn't say you're welcome in return she says no problem <laughs> like and it's i don't know it's just the cutest thing ever and when you have a kid and they have good manners like that makes you a proud mom like i can't even explain it but that is something we always get complimented on with janessa is about her um, manners but that's the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have any more questions leave them down below and we'll chat in the comments and if you, let me know what you guys want else 
what else you guys would like to see from me on this channel.